had a particular talent for writing a beautiful melody that didn't come from just air, it came from depth of Russia, depth of suffering and happiness and, and sadness. Some people would describe it as cold, but under this cold, it gives you really goosebumps because it's a cold flame. There is so much to say in it. There is tragedy, drama, love, passion, sadness, happiness. Everything is in that music. There are deep abysses where music is just so desperate, so dark, and yet, Ten minutes later, with this huge ecstasy. Rachmaninoff is not a composer. Rachmaninoff is not a pianist. Rachmaninoff is a spirit. He had no illusions. Old Russia was replaced by these cruel Bolsheviks. Of course, the biggest sorrow for him was just to leave Russia like this. And for some time, he was an enemy of the whole country. And I remember my grandfather was saying that he needed to uh, keep Rachmaninoff's score in some uh, hidden places because he was an enemy of the country and you couldn't perform and couldn't even say his name. <laughs> When he moved to the United States, he had a big crisis also as a composer. He didn't try it for a very long time. This constant nostalgic idea, painful idea of losing something so new and losing with no chance of recovery, that kept him being sort of stuck. Just the mere fact that you are attempting to make something beautiful out of trying experiences in your life is that first step. I think the story of Rachmaninoff is kind of at its heart a story of triumph. Triumph over pain and sadness. Because Rachmaninoff music heals. Because we have a crazy time now. To listen to Rachmaninoff music is, the, I think, that one of the most big therapy in the world.